Welcome everyone to another video. Today we are testing the free version of Avera and I have a folder with 85 samples of malware which we will use to test Avera to see how well it does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific threats. And the procedure will be as follows. In a moment I will enable the real-time protection with Avera and then we'll let it sit for just a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own after which we will run a system scan and then scan the samples folder directly. If there's any samples after that, we will try to execute them and see if the real-time protection can protect us. Now, before we begin, let's just double check and make sure that Avera is up to date. And we are now up to date. So let's go ahead and enable the real-time protection. And then we'll go ahead and let it sit for just a few moments. All right, I've waited several minutes and let's go ahead and check our samples folder. And it looks like we still have 85 samples in there. So we still have all of them. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and run a system scan. And to do so, we'll click on scan. We'll do a full scan. And then we'll go ahead and start it. And once this has completed, we'll be back with the results. The scan has completed and it looks like we have a long list of results. And so we're going to go ahead and apply actions. And the actions have completed and it gives us a report of what it found. So we're just going to go ahead and close that and then we'll click on end. And then let's just double check our samples folder. And it does look like there's one more in there. So let's go ahead and do a direct scan. And so far nothing. So let's go ahead and close it, end it. And let's go ahead and try executing it. And at this point, we'll go ahead and restart the computer and then run some second opinion scans. After the restart, I ran a scan with malware bytes, which came back positive with one result detected. So we will go ahead and quarantine it. I also ran a scan with MZSoft, which came back clean with zero results detected. So just a quick recap, we started out with 85 samples of malware. All but one were detected when we ran a full system scan. And the one that was missed is a PUP, so it's not an ultimate severe piece of malware that it missed, but they are very, very common, and so that's why I threw it in there. You can take those results and draw your own conclusion as far as the security. Please remember that this is just one type of test. There's many different types of tests that can be performed, and so Avera may perform differently in other types of tests. I would also like to mention that Avera, the free version, when you install it, also installs a lot of bloatware and other programs that Avera wants to put on your computer. Even for a free program, it's a little too much in my opinion. So please keep in mind that if you do choose to use this antivirus solution that you go back through your programs and applications and remove the bloatware and stuff you don't want from Avera off your computer. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.